Hello and welcome back. So, in today's video, we're gonna do another experiment with an audio exciter. If you've seen my video where I basically had a audio exciter on a guitar playing music for two months, and if you've seen my video where I put it on an acoustic guitar and play electric guitar through it, then you sort of know what it is I'm doing with them. I'm trying to come up with new fun experiments using this thing. I think it's a really fun thing to experiment with, mostly because it's a new thing for me to do. But anyway, in today's video, we are going to make a another experiment. A lot of the times, almost all the time, when I use drum in my songs, the drums played are MIDI drums. And it's kind of hard to get MIDI drums to sound natural and normal and like acoustic drums. There is a lot of mixing and things you can do to make it better. It's kind of hard to make it sound 100% natural. So, I had this idea. What if I use the audio exciter on my Kayong drum and mic it up like a big sound box basically and I play MIDI drums through the exciter into the drum and make the whole thing resonate and then I record the sound of them being played and so here we're gonna have first the sound clip of the MIDI drums and I've done nothing to them it's just straight up MIDI drums super boring not interested in all just the thing you always hear when you start recording MIDI drums nothing special and then after that we're gonna hear a clip of what it sounds like when I play the drums through the Kajong and I've done nothing to the recording it's just straight up playing the same MIDI drums through the Kayong. And then we're gonna play both of them together. Not really mixed, but at least, you know, as one unit because maybe the, the perfect way is to have both. I don't know. So listen to the clips and write comments below telling me what you think. If, is this something that is interesting? Is this just a way to make something that isn't that complicated complicated? Is there any merit to it at all, basically? So yeah, just have a conversation with me and let me know what you think. YouTube has its own compressions and its own way of you know processing the sound so it might not be the perfect way of doing things but nonetheless uh, let's have a conversation about this so that's it for this video give me a like if you enjoy the video and if you think this is interesting write a comment about what you think I really appreciate that because this is an experiment I've been thinking about for a while and I'm, I'd like your input uh, I'm sincere now I really would like your input so just you know talk to me and I would appreciate if you subscribed, you don't have to if you don't want to. And until next video, stay awesome and cool, and go and play drums.